The oil sands to me is big equipment, moving dirt. We run the equipment very hard. We dig it, load it on the truck, send it to the crusher. There's uh, sort of three big resources in the world and uh, oil sands is the third largest. 20% of the oil sands is actually close to the surface that we can mine. You can use truck and shovel to dig, bring it to a crushing plant and essentially clean the bitumen out of the sand. Unlike most mines around the world, we got a lot of sticky, wet dirt and uh, that can create a lot of problems either with the buckets or with uh, the amount of force it takes the machines to be able to move through it. These machines aren't cheap. Um, in order to be efficient and productive, they have to be working. And any time we have to take them out of the bank is time that they're not doing what they're meant to do. The challenge in oil sands is, of course, having consistent feed. And if we lose that blend, uh, sometimes as much as 20 minutes, it'll be enough to upset the, uh, the process. Every pass that the shovel makes is very important to get it into the truck. Uh, if I'm digging and the door slips, means another extra pass I gotta go back for. False trip is, is a going up, some dirt or the shims aren't tight enough and the latch releases, the bucket opens, all my dirt comes back out. By the time you get your door back down, the same as if you made a pass. So we do four passes usually to load a truck. So if you get four trips, you just lost a load of dirt. Sometimes it depends if it keeps happening and you just can't load a truck, then you gotta wait for, for maintenance to come. Our maintenance on a latch bucket, we're at it at least a couple times a day, depending on weather changes as well that can change the shimming of the bucket. We have to walk it out two times a face height in order for personnel. Any general time will take roughly about 15 to 20 minutes, which means within those 15 to 20 minutes, that's 10 loads of bitumen that we just lost going to the crusher. But with the latch free, uh, we can make it, we're hoping for 3,000 hours. Uh, before we have to do any changes. If you're using the latch free, you, you swing to the truck with confidence that it's not going to trip. So you can swing faster, you don't lose in the face. It's definitely made us more consistent to our customer, which in our world is the plant. Predictability and maintenance and maintenance intervals on the latch free, I think, is a, is a huge benefit. You don't, see the, uh, you don't see the system going down or having to repair it. Um, you, can plan, you can plan for that, which is a huge advantage for the mine. As opposed to if the things fail in the bank, it's all unplanned, it all costs extra money, extra safety, extra everything, right? We need repeated reliability. I think that's a key thing about Latch Free. I feel that we're giving it the best challenge, both environmentally and along with the volumes that we mine every day, uh, to test this product to its limit. I seen the, the latch free as an, a huge opportunity, not just for us here at Shell Alvin Sands, but for the industry as a whole. Increase productivity at the mining phase, as well as uh, take a lot of our maintainers out of the line of fire.